Hi everybody, if you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll know that I create PC content on my very old laptop using the Shadow Cloud Gaming PC. So the Shadow Cloud PCs are a, uh, a, a fairly high-end PC on a server um, that you then stream to your la crappy local computer like I've got here, which enables you to play high-end games and things like that. Now, recently, they added the ability to have a second monitor support as well. So I wanted to show you that. So the idea is that you could have a game running on a second monitor or probably... You know, if, you, if you've bought a Shadow Cloud gaming PC, it's going to be a TV, isn't it? It's going to be a TV you're going to be running on. But you, you, the uh, the Shadow Cloud gaming PC will, will run both. So as you can see, I've got my laptop here. And on my laptop, say, I could be streaming to Twitch. And I could have my, my Twitch stuff up there, you know, with, with the chat. So I'm looking at that. Um, I could have my YouTube channel out. Maybe I'm streaming to YouTube. Or maybe I could have a guide on it. So, so, so I'm doing that. Meanwhile, over here... Um, let me put that full screen. We can be a bit difficult to do this with one hand. We can be playing a game. Um, and if you want, so as far as performance goes, so this is Day Z on extreme settings. The TV is a 1080p TV. Um, can only do 60 frames a second, but it is. You probably can't. Can you see that? It's running along at 80 frames a second. Um, so. The Shadow Cloud Gaming PC kind of handles this okay. I mean, your results will vary, you know, on uh, on other games that are a little bit more uh, um, demanding of 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 the, the the specs. Remember, the Shadow Cloud Gaming PC at the moment has a GTX 1080 in it, which is quite an old graphics card, I guess now, but it was quite powerful in its day. And I am very pleased with this, very very pleased. As I say, you know, you can be playing your game here, and then over here you could have your chat going. Um, you used to kind of be able to do this anyway. What you would do is you would you would uh, take your USB, at, uh, sorry, your HDMI to your TV, and then you would have your shadow running on your TV on your you know your effective second monitor, and then you'd have your your own laptop doing its own thing. The catch with that was you had to keep um, flicking backwards and forwards between shadow and your normal PC, which which was a quite a few sort of button presses you have to do. Um, where with this, the only thing you've got to kind of watch out for is your mouse is kind of trapped on that monitor when you're in a full screen game. So you've got to be able to put it into full screen window mode. And then what you do is you can you can pause the game, press um, Alt and Enter to, to kind of bring up the window. That then frees up your mouse. Can you see that in the middle of the screen? I'm wagging it around. And now the mouse is now free to come over onto my... Um, second monitor or well sorry my, my laptop which is kind of i guess my primary monitor and then i can interact with you know chat and type things and, and look at web pages and that, that sort of thing so there we go shadow cloud gaming pcs now support two monitors or probably you know your crappy old laptop and <laughs> in this case my crappy old tv but it's 1080p it's 60 frames a second um it works well and um, what I'm looking forward to, actually, is playing controller-based games. So plug in my um, Xbox controller in and then playing on the TV, because that's the best way to play, isn't it? 100% rather than hunched over a small laptop. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope you found that useful. If you have, hit like, comment, see me on the same, press subscribe, and I will see you again soon.